Welcome back to Derby City Wrestling. Thank you for making us a part of your action-packed Saturday night here on the Louisville Network. And we just saw Kenny Starmaker bowling. You oh. haven't lost your step at all. I almost broke a sweat during that Baltimore. Do you believe that? The King leading the Big Cat, a man who had yet to for a victory here in DCW to his first ever win. Well, things are going to change for him. But speaking of big, tough guys, look who's in the ring. The following contest is going to for one fall. Introducing first, from Italy, weighing in at the 300 pound mark, Al Baron! And this man really is scary as well. If you stand by him, you get the shivers down your spine. Oh. And certainly a mean, tough customer, Al Barone, from the streets, from nothing, from the gutter, trying to make his name. And here comes the 19 year old Lupe Vizcarra. Lupe made it to those finals in the tag team tournament, the biggest feather in his cap to date. Mexican sensation. His opponent from Fresno, California, weighing 229 pounds, Lupe Vizcarra. Lupe Vizcarra, Fresno, California, the 19 year old, came to Louisville, Kentucky with a dream, with a passion to make it in the professional wrestling industry. Has done so under the tutelage of the hustler Rip Rogers. Barely speaks a lick of English, and I think he's done. For himself. Well, he certainly has. He's uh, done a lot better with the English language from what I can tell than what Twinkle Toes does because the producers told me they couldn't even understand what he was saying when uh, the girls wanted to match on the show tonight. But fortunately, a little good old Southern English, a little Southern dialect was laid on them. They understood, and we're going to have a ladies match on this show here tonight. And that is, coming up, that is coming up next, Twinkle Toes. Like it or not, you want something done around here, you go see Kenny Starmaker bowling. Well, what have I been trying to tell people for years? And speaking of getting it done, Al Barone just sweeping the leg of Luke. Lupe Vizcarra, and now torquing away on it. You see Al Barone posted his own knee on the hamstring and now crossing the legs Look of that Lupe. Now that, that, that will hurt right there. You get a man of that size to put that on you. The pressure that puts on the knee, that, that can uh, and look, look, look right there. Hurting Lupe's knee already and Al Barone telling him to get up and take some more punishment. Lupe able to get to the ropes. Fortunately for him, and Al Barone taking down Lupe Vizcarra. Al Barone, a bodyguard for an Italian prince at one time. Just a bad, bad I'm, man I'm, in every sense of the I'm word. Sure he's been a bodyguard for more than that. He won't confirm nor deny some of the things I've heard, but uh, yeah, a bad, bad man. If I'm eating dinner, I want him at my right-hand side, I'll tell you that. King will be safe then. Al Barone looking really, well, he's looking awesome here tonight. He's scaring me, in fact. He's always scaring me to the point where I can't talk. And it's nice here at the DCW Arena tonight. We've got the youngest and the dumbest member against one of the scariest. You say dumbest? He's not dumb. He got, got to the bottom rope there, smart enough to do that. Somebody from England with the nerve to come over here and refer to it, either an American and a Mexican or an Italian is dumb. you got a lot of nerve. And dragging him out to the middle of the ring does Al Barone. Weighing in tonight at the 300-pound mark. And Lupe Vizcarra feeling every pound of it as Al Barone dropping the elbow on that prone leg. What I love about this is just all the opportunities and uh, well, Al Barone sensing that he's got this thing under control here, but equal opportunity employer here at DCW. Don't matter what country you're from, what continent, don't matter. Not an American in the ring, and I think that includes Joe Wheeler. Well, if you want to see the viciousness of the likes of Al Barone live, you need to be here on Sunday, October the 7th. We had a great event last Sunday here, great future talent showcase, and the only way to be a part of those is live right here in the Davis Arena. That's Sunday, October 7th, look as this, Al Barone. Look at this that he's putting on Lupe. Now, that, that can't be good on either one of his knees right there. An inverted figure four leg lock. He's long and lanky, and that enabled him to be able to reach the ropes to get a break, assuming Al Barone would give him one. And Lupe Vizcarra with the ideal professional wrestling build, now, especially well, at such a young I'm, age. I'm glad you touched on that because that's what I wanted to talk about. He reminds me so much, and I was here when he was here, of a young Randy Orton. He's got that similar build, similar athletic ability. The only thing he's lacking is experience in the ring. Maybe a little guidance and tutelage from the king wouldn't hurt him. I think we showed that to the cat tonight. That if you got the proper knowledge behind you, you can go a long way in this business. Right, Twinkle Toes? <laughs> if you say so, Kenny, if you say so. And Al Barone, Hold on, oh, no, shoulders down. Oh. Kicking out does Al Barone. And it looks like right now, Lupe Vizcarra in dire straits thus far. Al Barone has literally dominated the 19-year-old from Fresno, California. Al Barone well. showing some great submission holds here tonight as well. And uh, if you go to shake this man's hand, he almost put you in a submission hold just doing that. This is, uh, this is as tough a matchup as Lupe has had so far. And, and how do you prepare for a guy like Al Barone? You just don't really Cover. Know. 
And you don't really out. know what he's going to do. And he, plus, he's a big, powerful man. Uh, and just a mean streak in him a mile long. You don't know what you're... But he, he does know his wrestling movers, yeah, he and wrestling moves. Here. He's going for it again. And Lupe, not close to the ropes this time. No, Can't no. even get his fingertips there. And those knees, those ligaments have to be having a lot of strain put on him by now. And a man that size applying that maneuver has got to be so devastating. Yeah, and Lupe submits. Young, what a move by Al Barone young, picking up a huge win. Young kid gave it all he had, but it just wasn't enough. Here is your winner as a result of a submission, Al Barone. I'd have tapped out before he got me in that submission hold, if it had been me. A huge win by Al Barone, and it looks like the big Italian has turned a new leaf here in Derby City Wrestling. He picked up the win.